physiology of the shock can be defined as the sudden loss of blood or sudden loss of ecf volume that triggers the hypovolemic shock in which the cardiovascular system fails to supply the sufficient amount of the blood to the peripheral tissue or organs here hypovolemic shock hypo means low volemic means volume the shock is triggered by low volume coming to the classifications of the hypovolemic shocks the first and primary cause and most common cause of the hypovolemic shock is a hemorrhage hemorrhage can be internal or external or fetal placental or fetal maternal hemorrhage however is a most common cause of hypovolemic shock and second common cause second most common cause is vomiting or diarrhea in which the patient or subject will would lose lot of uh, ecf volume that triggers hypovolemic shock in extreme cases and lastly the loss of excessive fluid in terms of urine in long standing untreated diabetic patients particularly diabetic insipidus of ketoacidosis patient where the patient lose lot of urine and electrolytes that may leads to the hypovolemic shock the patients of ketoacidosis these are very common causes of the hypovolemic shocks hemorrhage diarrhea vomiting and diabetic ketoacidosis coming to the signs and symptoms of hypovolemic shock when do we consider hypovolemic shock there are two criteria one is loss of blood more than 15 percentage or shock index shock index can be calculated heart rate divided by systolic blood pressure if the shock index is more than 0.6 that would consider as a clinical shock coming to the signs and symptoms the cold skin is one of the signs and symptoms and uh, cold skin because of uh, loss of peripheral uh, supply of the blood to the skin due to vasoconstriction in response to the shock and rapid heart rate and thready pulse the heart rate response increases tachycardia is seen in the hypovolemic response and uh, weak pulse because of low ejection fraction and next is increase the ventilatory response hyperventilation ve due to acidosis because of anaerobic metabolism due to absence of uh, oxygen supply to the peripheral tissue hypothermia and coagulopathy the coagulopathy means uh, loss of coagulatory response uh, because uh, loss of uh, the coagulatory factors due to blood loss and pathophysiology of uh, hypovolemic uh, response the low blood volume or uh, the hypovolemia triggers the multi organal response here we have brain adrenal gland cortex and medulla juxta glomerular cells and uh, darrow receptors or cardiopulmonary receptors or the responsive organs or responsive stimulators to the hypovolemia the low volume essentially triggers the multi organal response in coordination manner in order to bring back the ecf towards normal and the low volume however triggers the many responses one is it triggers the subfornical organ response 
and increases the sympathetic outflow from the brain the sympathetic outflow however acting on multiple levels subfornical organ response increases the water intake response of an individual and aldosterone secreting from the cortex and uh, catecholamines also secretes from the uh, medulla in response to the low volume this aldosterone acting on sfo subfornical organ of circumventricular organs and uh, increases the water intake response and the aldosterone also acting on the jg cells in order to improve the sodium retention the low volume the other hand stimulates the renin angiotensin mechanism the renin usually secretes from the afferent arterioles of the jg cells juxtaglomerular cells which triggers the multiple response on the multiple organ in order to retain the ecf towards normal level and the same uh, the renin angiotensin mechanism uh, acting on the sympathetic nervous system and uh, try to bring back the ecf towards the normal by multi organal response and this low volume other hand stimulates the baroreceptors and triggers the baroreceptor response and further stimulates the sympathetic nervous system and the low blood volume increases the anaerobic metabolism due to absence of oxygen supply to the peripheral tissue at the peripheral tissue level that causes the accumulation of the protons in the ecf that is known as acidosis or acidity that acidosis also add on to the physiological response mainly increases the ventilation because the acidity or acidosis try to uh, you know stimulate the uh, respiratory centers peripheral and central chemoreceptors and uh, they try to blow off the carbon dioxide and this low volume however triggers the coagulopathy coagulopathy means uh, low ability or decrease in the ability of the coagulation or it may be uh, the low volume may causes intravascular disseminated coagulation so the coagulation of uh, fraction of coagulations in the intravascular level so this is all about the physiological response of the hypovolemic uh, shock